In 2365, the USS Yamato NCC-24383-E, under the command of Captain Varley, committed an act of war against the Romulan Star Empire. He did this by entering the Romulan neutral zone and attempting to find an ancient civilization who would give an edge to whichever side found them first in military weaponry. Today, he will stand trial to determine if his actions that resulted in the deaths of over a thousand officers, as well as their families, including the children, was justified. When judging the captain of the Yamato, it is vital that we judge him in the era of which this occurred. For instance, I would not argue that this action, if committed during the Dominion War, is unjustified, nor would I say that he should be punished. I would even argue that during the original series, he was justified by the standards we see of the captains of that era. However, we have to take a look at the time and mentality of Starfleet at the point that this occurred. People forget that TNG is at the very end of what Lore Runner calls the Golden Age. I prefer to refer to it as Starfleet's pacifistic era, but that's just me. And you only need to see scenes from TNG episodes to know this. For instance, the very first episode where Picard discusses being a superior and evolved human, how humanity has changed. Or other episodes like Peak Performance where Picard states Starfleet is not a military. And even the episode The First Duty where Picard gives a renowned speech about the first duty of every Starfleet officer. That it is to the truth, whether it's scientific truth or historical truth, or personal truth. No Starfleet officer should be wearing a uniform that can't keep to that standard, according to Picard. This Starfleet is not about getting an upper edge. It's not about military sensibilities or even pragmatism. The Cardassian border wars show us that in spades. No, this era is about honor, even if it means you lose. It's about coming together and sharing knowledge, even if that puts you in danger. This Starfleet is as likely to talk to the Romulans in hopes of coming to a peaceful resolution than what is actually done in this episode. So let's take a look at what he did. In the TNG episode, Contagion, Captain Varley discovers a map that will lead to the Iconians. The Iconians are known to have technology that would ensure that any power that held what they created could destroy their enemies. Let's assume that the captain only wishes to ensure that this type of tech does not fall into the Romulans' hands, not gain it for the benefit of Starfleet. He enters into the neutral zone, with families by the by, evades a Romulan ship, and then his vessel begins having issues. This of course after he finds some Iconian tech. He sends an SOS in which the Enterprise responds. His ship is destroyed and a standoff and near war occurs between the Romulan Star Empire and the United Federation of Planets. This is a species that is on par with the Federation or has better tech than them. But I'll be honest, this is actually a hard one for me. Pragmatically, and someone who most identifies with the DS9 era of Trek, I think what has happened or what he did has validity. The Romulans were a clear and present threat. There's absolutely no doubt that they would utilize this knowledge against the Federation, and possibly with it would be encouraged to go to war with such an advantage. Iconian weapons combined with the cloaking device means the Federation and the Klingon Empire would be destroyed. However, this simply wasn't the Starfleet way as of this time. For me, I would have to say that he's justified. I mean, at worst, I would have something put in his service jacket. But for my money on what I think the Admiralty of Starfleet in this era would do, I think he would have lost his career. I think he would have either been out of Starfleet or have a desk job, if not in a prison. But that's my take on it. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below.